What's going on guys? Jesse504 here, bringing you a more interesting video. So uh, this week, uh, or today, I'm doing a PBA coaches tier list as uh, the playoffs are incoming. I figure uh, I'm going to go ahead and give my personal opinion on sort of just how well each coach has sort of played this season and sort of not like purely based on like it's not like how much I like you, how much I don't like you, but it's just like purely based on how well your season has gone for you. Um, so we're like week six, uh, or we're done with week six, week seven games are currently being played, and I figured this is a pretty good time to do it. Another possible time would be just like right after week eight, but I want to do it now. So we got four tiers today, we got gods, those are for like the top coaches who like I think have a really good shot at winning playoffs. Uh, strong contenders, these are people who are guaranteed or almost guaranteed to make playoffs with a decently high seed. Uh, in the hunt, these are teams that are uh, borderline playoffs teams and then not your season. This is for teams that can't quite make playoffs. They've kind of had a bit of a rougher schedule or whatever uh, they've had this season, but it just hasn't been their season. Um, so uh, I got all the logos here for all the coaches. Uh, let's hope that I can remember them all. So, first off, we have my team, the Chicago Bear Ticks. What do I think of myself? Personally, I'm going to go ahead and put myself in strong contenders. I'm, I have a 5-2 and two season going on right now. And, like, uh, it obviously could have been better. Could have gone much worse as well. But having the current kill leader as well as um, just playing a bunch of fun games, I think that it's pretty comfortable that I'm a strong contender for this season. Up next, we have uh, the New York Blazikens, coached by Iraz. Um, I think this team is in the hunt. Um, while they've certainly struggled, they've kind of had big wins and big losses um, that have ultimately led them to being like a middle of the pack Shield Division team. Um, they definitely can still make playoffs, although it's really just going to come down to Week 8 for as for who can make them and who can't. Uh, a lot of it is going to be riding on that. And uh, I'm going to be honest, I know the Shield Division coach is a little bit better than the Sword Division coaches. So uh, I might get a little bit more wrong in Sword er, than I would in Shield. But uh, up next, we have the Washington Blizzards instant god tier team right now. 7-0. I have to phase them next season or er, next week. Not looking forward to it. But yeah, this team has been just great all season. Kind of feel bad putting them last in the rankings when they have done pretty wonderful stuff uh, the entire season with the Dracovich that hasn't died once somehow, um, even though people have just tried to draft counters for it, has not worked out at all as well. Just like some kind of more slept on threats that are still all really, really strong. Um, and yeah, up next. Um, we have the Barton Boltons, coached by Martidi, uh, another team that's in the hunt. Um, this team, is, they're kind of on the borderline of being eliminated. A lot needs to go right for them to make playoffs, and I think I'm going to move them actually a little bit down into not their season. While they have had like some strong games, they've also like shown a little bit of mistakes that have kind of been punished all season long. But they've also won big, and they have a very threatening lineup. They're currently 3-3-1, three and three minus one, so it could be worse. But in a league with a ton of really stacked coaches, uh, I feel having these teams like this, it, um, it really punishes you for any small mistakes or even some hacks that really goes uh, against you. Up next, we have Lemon, coach of the Vegas Quarter Knights. And uh, I don't think they've had a great season either. They're a sword division team that I don't know quite as well. But um, from what I've seen, the Celeste de la train hasn't quite taken off as much as Lemon wishes it had. Um, in season one, for example, when he was able to make semifinals. Um, but it just hasn't quite gone as well. I feel like people are kind of playing a little bit better around the Celeste de this season as opposed to last season. Um, yeah, but still a strong battler. Like, I feel everyone in this league is. I'm going to be saying that a lot. Um, yeah. Up next, Blau. Another god right here. 6-0 um, and in the shield division right now. Um, 
one of my losses. Um, just has been playing pretty much out of his mind the entire season with the Dragapult, 14 kills. What a it's just been legendary the entire season. Um, thing just puts in work every game and doesn't go down either. Um, fortunately for uh, Blau, I feel like. Um, he has done really well in shield division which has been really competitive and really just cementing him as one of the strongest coaches in the league um up next we have team liquidation coached by Vinny. uh this team in the hunt while they were the number one team in season one i feel like kind of a little bit of a fall off taken in season two though still a really scary team to prep for i feel like um this season just the overall competition has gotten a lot stronger and kind of the power level of the teams have been a little bit more balanced uh, this season. And But Vinny knows his stuff. He knows that uh, he pretty much picks out tier fives that are able to do really good work every week um, with his Audino and his Dusk Glops that have pretty much been an unbreakable backbone. Finding those two really nice late in the season just kind of as a nice unbreakable backbone is going to help potentially carry him into the playoffs and maybe even further depending on how well he does but right now he's just in the hunt until he can get a win or two more before playoffs up next we have the milwaukee mill tanks coached by nugget boy i'm sorry but uh the season has not gone the way that you would have wanted it to at the start unfortunately nugget boy has kind of landed himself in an unfortunate position after coming in as a replacement for Tsunami, um, kind of after they went, they just kind of went off the chart, and so Nugget Boy had to come in as a replacement for them, and for what he's had, uh, I think he's been playing pretty well, although he has lost every single game, um, still putting uh, in effort every week, and potentially coming back next season trying to do even better, um, but as of right now, it's just not their season. Up next, Epic Pants, strong contender, um, really threatening team uh, that I kind of slept on. Having Tapu Koko, Lucha, and having Excadrill too to just back it up, as as well as a strong Mega Venusaur, I feel as though uh, this team has just done really well uh, for being kind of slept on at the start. They've really proven themselves as a great coach. Um, and really, if you sleep on any one of their threats, they can just kind of come in and punish. Uh, and that's something that I've seen Epic Pants do really well is kind of he's built really well. He's seen what needs to be done in order to have like the matchup and then in order to eventually win that game. Up next, the Mystic Mall Wiles, another god team right there. Um, I think that they've really shown themselves off this season. Uh, obviously, the Mega Mawile has done work, but it hasn't even been like the number one threat. That team is just so well-rounded and has been played incredibly well by Clouds that, um, yeah, it's just been oh, really fun to watch the replays. My my personal favorite game of the season was Ben versus Clouds. Uh, I feel like that game, it, while it did come down to a little bit of hacks, had that hacks not happened, it was just one of the closest games. Uh, really fun to watch games. Um, but that's what Clouds has kind of done all season. Close games that he ends up winning, other than that one unfortunate game against Ben. But yeah, really fun team to watch, and I think that they have what it takes to go really far in the playoffs. Up next, we got the Memphis Prime Apes, and this is another team where it's not their season. Although they have a really threatening lineup, just kind of uh, their team is just not really living up to it. And I don't really feel like it's Bill's fault per se. I just feel like he's had a really tough schedule and he makes reads that are kind of like 50-50s. But if he, he kind of, I feel like is on the losing end of those 50-50s a little bit too often for what it's worth. Um, yeah. Up next, Seattle Superiors, coached by Pulsey. Um, I'm going to be honest, haven't really followed this team too much. Uh, they're in the hunt. While the team isn't quite, like, it's not, like, doing too, too hot. Just, like, the state of 
sword division is kind of three dominant teams and then the rest are kind of equal um having that being that being said this team has tried to find a footing in that division which is really volatile really tough to win in uh with sort of a more stally roster but i feel like pulsey's been playing it pretty well unfortunately just had to go against a bunch of tough opponents um and kind of losing a little bit big when they do lose and not quite winning as highly. Up next, we have the Sexual Sex Havers, coached by Phil. Another strong contender team, I feel. Um, this team, it is um, one of the four teams currently locked into playoffs, um, potentially locked into a three seed, um, but Torn T has just been doing so much work as well as Mega Scizor in a no hidden power league has been putting in great work for Phil. He's clearly a great player, he clearly knows what he's doing and he's kind of just been playing incredibly well the entire season showing us what um, what his team really can be, how it's living up to its hype and yeah locked for playoffs like I said. Um, been winning pretty big and only lost to two god tier teams uh that's just insane i respect this man's grind um as well as just the amount of moms that he plays uh he clearly knows his shit up next we have the pittsburgh steelix coached by anscoli this is another team that is in the hunt uh for that tight last spot in sword division um again i haven't followed this team too much other than i know that they have two really strong psychic types in mega metacham and victini that are both just kind of able to punch holes in mega metacham on the physical side and victini kind of just doing whatever victini wants to do pretty much but yeah this is another team that i believe is in the hunt to win these potential last few weeks and sort of just make it work uh up next we have the uh, Portland Timbers coached by Not Shady Kid. Uh, not his season, kind of. Uh, he came uh, in, and uh, I, I know that he's a great battler. I've seen him in other leagues where he does great. But here, I feel like he just hasn't quite lived up to what I've seen him able to do in other leagues. Potentially, it is just his team not really vibing well with him. He took an early Mega Kangaskhan. Uh, but then traded for Zero Aura, which I feel like has helped him out these past couple weeks. Um, although he um, hasn't been taking too many um, wins, just the one win. Uh, but it was a 6-0 win, although that is kind of counteracted by a 6-0 loss. Though he didn't lose too big to some of the god tier teams. He unfortunately has potentially the hardest schedule being in Sword Division and having to play Blau at the end. Uh, so he has to kind of face three of these god tier teams. I kind of feel bad a little bit. But at the same time, um, he hasn't quite proven himself against even the mid tier teams. So it's tough to really say. And then lastly, we have the Utah Wees coached by Nathaniel. And uh, another team that uh, sort of has kind of struggled to, um, to produce this season. Um, though they do have a really scary, uh, more unconventional roster with Mega Pinsir, Necrozma. Uh, as kind of the two carries, they also elected to grab three tier twos, or I mean three tier threes, which is, you don't really see that too often, but it's a, just a really well-rounded roster, but kind of the issue with that is people have found ways to prep for his main threats, although he does have some pretty quality wins against, um, or he has a one pretty quality win against lemon which was a big win for him and pretty much kept him in the hunt even though he is two and five it's really there's a low chance that he makes it if he can but yeah so this is the pba coach season two tier list the gods ben blau clouds the strong contenders me epic pants phil in the hunt Irez, Vinny, pulsey and anscoli and then Kind of just having a tough season is Mardi, although I could potentially put them in the hunt. I think I'm going to do that just because they can potentially make playoffs. Lemon, uh, Nugget Boy, Bill, uh, Not Shady Kid, and Nathaniel. Kind of just having a bit of a rougher season. Although in a league like this where it's so competitive, all the, co all the coaches are so close to each other in skill, uh, 
having it not be your season is kind of inevitable at some point. Everyone's going to have their up seasons and down seasons. But this is just my take, and uh, until next time, Jesse504, out.